Hi and welcome to the bathroom guys. Today I'm gonna review uh, Noble Uther Lone Star. It's a little sample container I got here of this soap. It's a soap I never used before uh, on camera. I just used it yesterday. And um, actually I had a very bad shave yesterday. So um, I will try to make a little bit more effort. I'll explain a little bit more about that later on. Anyway, this is a soap. Uh, I have to put my glasses on and read my notes from their website. I will put that in the description below as well. Uh, the sun profile is lemon, sage, I think you pronounce it sage, uh, magnolia, Texas cedar, oak moss, leather and hay. And if I smell this one, now when I know the sound profile, I can feel the ladder and the oak moss, the, la the citrus and the, um, maybe the cedar. But um, if I had uh, some uh, smell this one without knowing the sound profile, I would just say that it was a woody citrus note. I could not detect uh, specific scents here. At all. It's a soap with a very clean and nice ingredients list with a lot of oils and uh, butters and uh, it's beef, Halloween, so you can check that out in the description. Yesterday I shaved with this soap and um, with my kamisuri and uh, uh, strange enough I didn't uh, cut myself or got any vapors. I did two pass, but I didn't get such a close shave. I was not planning to shave today, but I have had a lot of stubble left here and there after the shave because I didn't succeed to whip this uh, soap up good enough, I think. Or maybe this soap is not good enough because um, it dissipated very, very fast on my face. Very fast. You had no chance to do a, a one pass without it dissipated. Uh, so I will put a little bit more effort to lather it up. I uh, don't lather so long, whip, don't whip it so long. And um, usually with my soaps, but maybe this one needs that. So I'm gonna put some more effort to that today. And to, tonight I want to have a good shave. That's why I use my favorite razor that always give me close good shaves for the Grande Gold and the trusty synthetic mule silver tip and I have this little ball here so well let's start there was one I put out like this something I put in the ball here one more thing with the Kamisori shave yesterday was that um, I did that off camera by the way because I wanted to concentrate on the shave to get a good nice shave but I didn't. Uh, one other thing was that uh, I used the Feather Professional Light Blade in the Kamisori and um, that blade is not for me. It uh, didn't cut my stubble here. I had three days of stubble and it didn't cut it at all. So that blade uh, sticks out too little from the from the razor. So um, after the first pass, I changed to the Kai Titan blade, and it was much better again. Okay, I smeared it out here. So let's start to wet the brush here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Slick on my hands. The strange thing with this soap yesterday was that um, when the leather dissipated, it had no glide, but um, when I uh, wet my face, it was very much of the residual slickness there. So, we will see. I will not talk so much, I uh, maybe speed up this part later. No, I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna talk, you have to 
fast forward yourself. The weather here has become much better. It's below 30 now. It's around 27, 28 degrees and actually it's uh, much easier to, to breathe and it feels much better inside the house as well. We had a very long heat wave. Unfortunately there is no rain here still. Since the beginning of May we only got where I live not even 10 millimeters of rain and it starts to worry me quite a lot because I have my own water well here and I'm very very afraid that the water will how do you say run out the well got dry we must have rain but it's only small, small thunderstorms here and there, but and they give very, very little rain, almost nothing. We need a big, big thunderstorm, but not been any one of those this summer yet. The ladder builds up here, very nice, picky, with no bubbles, so this can look quite promising. I think. Very nice. Really hope this ladder will not dissipate today. The sun is uh, medium strong. Not my uh, type of sun, really, but. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite song. Sage, I even though didn't know what that was, so I had to translate it and look it up, and it's salvia in Swedish. But uh, I don't think I know how salvia smells, because I never used it in cooking or anything. Okay, wet my face a little bit. Let's put this on and see what's up. I can take this off. The woody scent and um, the cedar and the lemon dominates here. Or maybe it's magnolia too. I don't have a clue how magnolia smells like. I don't even know what it is. Feels like yeah, the ladder is a little bit too dry for my preference, but I'm gonna use it like this, thick and dense. And hopefully, it will not dissipate today. Okay, I'm happy, so I think. By the way, I have the Gillette Platinum Blade here, the third use of that one. Actually, I should have done a review of that, but I don't want to make two reviews in one video, so i do that some other day.
och creamy leather. No residual slickness at all. But it uh, usually can be like that on the first pass. I'm going to go down to up because it's more width on the cross the grain for me on my neck. Here my hair grows crazy. It grows like this on both sides of the Adam's apple up to here somewhere then it goes down from the chin. The glide is very good. I love this razor. If I only had to choose one for the rest of my life, it would be this one. So efficient and smooth. Okay, first pass done. And it took quite a lot of I will only need two passes. I can do like two passes in one seal. No sign of dissipating ladder today. So I think that it was a user error yesterday. I didn't pay attention enough when I whipped it up. I took it too wet probably. I'm gonna put some more water to this one just to see. What happens? Okay, we go like that. The handle is slippery. You don't want slippery hands with this razor.
residual slickness is um, almost nothing on this soap. But the glide is very good. I'm gonna try to put some water on and only water I'll show you later on here. There's nothing left. But I'm gonna when I have water here on my face, no, it's very very slick. Let's see what's happened here. If I just go with that. No problem. Very, very nice. I'm very, very happy. I have a great shave. Uh, let me rinse and I'll be back. Back. Um, it had a great residual slickness that was not possible to wash away and you should not do that either because it contains a lot of good things in this soap that your skin would love and get re-moisturized again. Um, so I will not put any balm on, it's not necessary with this soap. Um, the soap performed today very well. Uh, had a very nice cushioning as you could see and um, felt good on the face and it had a great glide. Um, it seems though that you need to be quite careful how you whip it up or face lather it to get the right amount of water if uh, residual slickness is very important for you you have to make it a bit wetter than I had but then you can end up with the problem I had yesterday then that the lather dissipated instead um, so it seems like this soap has some kind of sweet spot 
not you need to hit to get the best of it anyway it was a very good soap and um, soap I can recommend absolutely thank you so much for watching and comment below if you like it's always appreciated take care everyone and have a continued great weekend thank you bye bye